This is Dr. Yasa Azali, a gastroenterologist from Comoros. I met him during the just concluded China Africa Youth Festival. As we sat down to enjoy the bullet train ride from Beijing to Shandong province, Dr. Yasa relieved his China story. Winter 2007 was actually my first time experiencing winter. <laughs> Then came the language challenge, which he eventually overcame. Learning language for me was just contact with people, the contact with people. And um, I like sports, so that was a good gateway to the language. I used to play a lot of basketball with Chinese friends. That's where I make a lot of my friends, actually. My best friends are basketball players that we used to play back in the days. Having spent eight years studying medicine in China, Dr. Yasa witnessed firsthand China's modernization in health, transport, agriculture and technology and how they help develop a healthy nation. He says his experience in China prepared him adequately for the task ahead. They have the, the human resources. Like, I think it's important for our students to go back and help their own country, especially in fields like medicine, uh, education. Those are fields that are public and then uh, that are very essential for us in the country. We need more people. Like I said, me being the gastroenterologist, all I can wish for is more gastroenterologists, more doctors in other fields. So yeah, we could start from there. I've been in China for eight years now. I also met Raymond Ayo, a PhD in international trade candidate at the Shandong University of Finance and Economics in Jinan. His interest in the Asian country was developed after reading several articles about China's increased engagement with Africa in the new Africa magazine in the early 2000s. But the desire to move east developed after attending the Forum on China-Africa Cooperation FOCAC of 2006. And I realized that at some point in my career, it will be necessary to come to China to learn more about China, to study in China, and um, to experience China. His dream will become a reality in 2014. Uh, first, I came with a work visa as, a, as an English teacher, and then later on I decided to do a master's program from 2017 to 2019, and eventually now a PhD program, and I'm expected to graduate next year. He says his desire to move to China has paid off handsomely and in many ways. And like Dr. Yasa Azali, AO, who now works as a translator for the police in Jinan City in Shandong province, dreams of the day he will go back to his home in Nigeria and inspire the growth of his country and Africa as a whole, based on his experience in China. China has built and continues to build, not just build, the maintenance aspects. China is extremely good at maintaining public infrastructure. Having been in China for ages, I can tell you that I see urban renewal basically everywhere I go after every couple of weeks, not months, weeks. You know, it's amazing, it's wonderful, it's impressive. Eo knows that to cultivate this kind of culture back home, he will need to get into positions of influence. Political leadership is the dream destination for the youthful Nigerian. Enoxicolia, CGTN, Jinan City, China.